Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. So friends, today we have a special guest with us, and her name is Dolly Basno, and uh, she is from Tier Three College, but she has worked in Ola, and right now she is working in Cisco. And in spite of uh, the current situation, she has received uh, you know uh, multiple offers, and she has applied for multiple jobs. So today here we are going to discuss. So when this particular situation will become normal, when Infosys TCS will start hiring, and once they start hiring, then what kind of skills? or if the examination level will change so all those things we will discuss in this video so welcome to online study for you dolly uh, thank you pratik sir for inviting me okay so uh, before we start uh, can you please uh, brief about yourself yeah hi everyone i am dolly vishnu i am currently working in cisco as a software engineer 3 before that i was working in ola so i have completed my graduation from a tier 3 college which is bhilai institute of technology and i am a computer science graduate uh, i have graduated in 2018 okay great so uh, the first question to you is like when do you think the situation will become normal because right now the students are quite uh, demotivated depressed and they have lost the hope and uh, they are not utilizing the you know this particular time so can you please uh, talk about this uh, so uh, all of uh, those uh, students who are losing hope i just want to say that situation will become uh, normal please hopefully uh, from june 2023 onwards uh, hiring will start again because uh, since these companies are firing and uh, there are also a hiring freeze uh, all over the place so definitely they will start hiring again so uh, in this situation our uh, students can only do is upskill themselves uh, work on their skills and uh, don't lose hope uh, situation will be normal pretty soon okay so uh, i i still remember like in 2008 you know there was a great recession so right now whatever situation we are seeing see because of uh, you know the all social media it's quite a hype of uh, you know everything but in 2008 mm -hmm. there was a great recession and you know once the graph went uh, to the top and then again i mean uh, the current hiring freeze and then they started hiring uh, a lot of people like once this things were stable so as you said like yes so there will be a lot of hirings uh you know once the situation normal normalized after june 2023 okay now one question with everybody is you know talking mainly on linkedin so whenever you know somebody gets terminated or if something happens please up skill yourself so what do you mean by up skill yourself and how this is going to benefit this candidates who are waiting for uh, you know the hiring uh, so up skilling will definitely going to help uh, so up skilling in the sense uh, candidate should more focus on their uh, basic fundamentals uh their core programming skills as well as they should know c c++ basic programming languages apart from that uh, if these kind of companies are suppose hiring two candidates and one candidate have some certifications in data science or machine learning or this trending technologies and one candidate is not having those kind of certificates or good projects then definitely this uh, companies will uh, actually prefer those candidates who have good certifications or good uh, projects uh, to showcase in their resumes so uh, i will suggest that uh, please focus on your uh, core fundamental skills uh as well as uh, your programming skills uh, and uh, your projects okay so i just want to add one line so your core uh, fundamental skills which you said that means like if you're from civil so definitely you should have you know uh, good knowledge about your particular uh, civil subjects mechanical mechanical subject electrical electrical subject and addition to that any kind of certification uh, which we are putting on our youtube channel so that you can add in your uh, resume right okay so uh the next thing like how are you getting like so many you know uh, like offers or uh, in spite of the situation is not normal so how did you you know uh, what did you do basically to get this offer and what additional things you have put in your resume so uh, can you please explain a bit so uh, definitely so uh, the things which i worked on uh, the projects which i worked on in my college as well as uh, the some certifications also i have done from coursera uh, so i have mentioned those as well in my resume mm -hmm. so those helped me uh, as uh, and i made sure that uh, whatever i am mentioning in my resume i know each and every bit of it so i am not lying uh, anything in my resume 
and apart from that i basically uh, mostly focused on linkedin only so i made a good profile on linkedin mm -hmm. so in linkedin uh, i reached out to recruiters daily i used to reach uh, to 10 to 20 recruiters uh, message them so i actually made a template uh, that i know this this subjects uh, i am good with this this technologies and in that way i used to send uh, messages to recruiters uh, but uh, how do you find because i am very you know uh, i am not much pro with the linkedin and definitely students will also not and uh, the, our students they don't fake, focus much on linkedin so that's why every time i say them like you know you make a good profile on linkedin and try to reach a recruiter so now here how do you identify that these are the recruiters and uh, then how do you send the connection request and how do you uh, send the messages so okay so uh, there is a search bar in linkedin mm -hmm. so there if you want to apply to any company say infosys or tcs any of the companies just mm -hmm. search on linkedin infosys recruiter and mm -hmm. there you will find list of people who are the recruiters of that particular company. Just mm -hmm. make a connection request with them, uh, send as many connections as you can. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, there is a jobs section as well in LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. so, uh, there are uh, companies uh, are uh, there who are hiring. They mention uh, their job roles mm -hmm. as well as uh, the particular position which they are hiring for. So that you can find out from the LinkedIn and there you can easy uh, easily apply uh, so some people apply through uh, the career portal mm -hmm. as well as through the linkedin yeah okay so i am just sharing the screen so that you know uh, it will be more helpful to the student so here mm -hmm. like as you said you know like infosys mm -hmm. recruiter so this is how we have to search right so yeah, yeah, then yeah. okay so this so like this, so we have to search for different people because what I have seen is like, you know, TCS will be conducting this off campus drives, uh, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, direct interview. So you have to go at their offices and then uh, you directly the interview will be uh, conducted. I mean, you don't have to go through all the process. So this is one good thing. Mm -hmm. Like here we could see like, you know, uh, HR business partner at Tata Consulting. So like uh, we search and then we send them uh, messages. We make them template. So this is my skills. And based on that, uh, but we cannot send a directly message to them, right? So first we have to send them connection request or something because their message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, connection request you have to send mm -hmm. uh, first. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And uh, then... With connection request, uh, actually there is a tab uh, that comes. So with that, you can uh, send oh, yes, your message. Yes, yes, yes. When we are sending on connect, so then we can uh, add, add a note. note. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can. Okay, but definitely for that, we, uh, you know, we have to have a, uh, a good profile right i mean good linkedin profile and then only we should send okay so okay yeah. so that's a great idea so uh, mm -hmm. like this you, you used to receive multiple offers right mm -hmm. yeah okay, so that's a secret okay anything else uh, which you wanted to suggest to the student so how they will be you know uh, they will keep themselves motivated because see uh, when we you, you know i i keep myself at the place of a student and i think okay so when there is no hiring happening what is the use of a study right mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. so how so what guidance you wanted to give to them so that they will be uh, you know they will keep themselves motivated and they will be keep trying for the jobs so uh, the situation is very difficult right now first of all i would like to suggest everyone that keep their mental peace uh, very intact like uh, take care of their health that is first priority okay. because if your health is fine then you can uh, focus on your studies and secondly, as I said, uh, they should have a good profile in the sense uh, they should add some certifications if they can, because that will uh, be helpful uh, mm -hmm. in getting their jobs, as well as they should have good projects and uh, they should keep their uh, fundamentals uh, like aptitude, verbal abilities, as well as programming skills uh, pretty good so that uh, it will be helpful for them. Uh, so uh, like thinking about the situation uh, won't going to help them uh, thinking about these things that how can they upskill themselves so that they will be the first uh, to get that particular job uh, will be very helpful uh, according to me. True, true, true. Okay, uh, one thing uh, which I would like to uh, tell a student because you know, a lot of times I have seen, you know, uh, I'll put the certification videos on our channel 
okay so a lot of contents are there okay so here you know a lot of like certification programs uh like you know direct interviews also what i was telling you so uh, according to you when we are sending you know the linkedin request then we might get to know that if there is any kind of direct hiring is there okay and uh, some kind of certification program like ibm launched free certification programs and all so this kind of internship programs we put it but the student does not take it seriously so as you said today like in resume if uh, you had put like you know a lot of coursera courses and all those things right yeah obviously internships and certificates are very important uh, if they have good internships then definitely uh, they will be more prioritized than the people who doesn't have any experience uh, in these things so mm -hmm. definitely these are going to be helpful true 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 yeah because see these are the things uh, definitely at certain point of uh, you know when they will compare with the two resumes then they will give the priority if you have done a lot of courses so uh, mm -hmm. thank you dolly for a, a short conversation and uh, this short conversation is definitely very much uh, fruitful because now they will start working on the projects they will start working on the certificates and once they hear from you know people like you uh, then i know they will definitely you know uh, work in that direction so thank you once again yeah sure thank you thanks a lot